If only we had spent just a little more than the $25 billion in 10 years equipping and training the Iraqi army, we'd already spent, the entire country would now be the fragrant and flowering democra blossom we planted there. <laughs> and then we could have gone back to our original plan for the region, wait until it runs out of oil, and stop giving <laughs> about it. <laughs> Daily Show host John Stewart is known for using satire to criticize the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, but he is also a strong supporter of those serving in the military. Stewart and his team showed Jim Axelrod how they are helping veterans find jobs. Jim, good morning. Oh, good morning. When American Corporate Partners, a nonprofit that connects veterans with business leaders, approached John Stewart about becoming a mentor to a vet, he decided to go a few steps further and assigned his staff the mission of better preparing military men and women for careers in the competitive business of entertainment. Before those lucky enough to score tickets to a daily show taping, hear from John Stewart. All right, everyone, how are we doing tonight? They're greeted by Justine Cabula. We've been getting a lot of offers of gifts, which is so generous. Who offers an entertaining delivery, all her own. If it's like, you know, something carved out of cheese, we already got that. If it's a hand sketch drawing of like shirtless John behind a double rainbow, also got that. How did you get here? <laughs> it's been a, a really wild ride. It's just amazing to know that I was going to be part of something that I thought was so brilliant, and I just felt so lucky, and there's nothing that can express that. Lucky, because Cabulong's path to a career in television was not a traditional one. You were an active duty Marine for how many years? For four years. And I was in Camp Leatherneck from 2010 to 2011 for about a year. And in I'm, Afghanistan. Mm -hmm, in Afghanistan, in Helmand Province. Helmand Province was not a walk in the park. No, it was it was very very difficult. And I I was like 23 or 24 at the time. I'm so grateful for that time. But I I loved what I did there. Because among other things, that time as a Marine is what earned Cabby Long her shot at The Daily Show. The most important thing, honestly, to me, is opening up those uh, avenues that just were, were closed down. There's nothing John Stewart that launched The Daily Show's veteran immersion program three years ago. Since then, nearly 75 veterans have gained exposure to the entertainment industry and jobs that are often elusive to those without the right connections. The big banks recruit from the Ivy League colleges. That's where they get people. You go to a college that's not that, and you may feel intimidated by that culture. You spend a day at that bank and go, oh, I have these guys are idiots. <laughs> and it suddenly becomes much more accessible to you because you don't realize it's been <laughs> demystified because you've been held away from it. We think it, it at least gets, helps them get their foot in the door. Daily Show staffers Camille Hebert and Elise Terrell manage the six-week program, which looks to recruit men and women who are decisive under deadline. There are no IEDs. There's nothing that is a real uh, threat to us. But yet we have this level of urgency. And I think a lot of the veterans really do appreciate and understand that, yeah, if you're going to work 110 percent to make it right, there is going to be stress. Um, so I think for them it's a refreshing type of stress. Yeah. About 30 percent of those looking for work at the end of the program have landed jobs at a number of media outlets. It's going to be those two seats right there. On two the of them How many? at The Daily Show. Too cool. You guys are going to check in with her. Cabulong and Nate Whitmer. I have a bunch in production. But Before he became an associate producer at The Daily Show, Whitmer led a platoon in Iraq. You saw combat. Right. Um, we were in a fairly kinetic environment, as they call it. Kinetic. Uh, what does that right. mean to, to, for the non-veterans? Right. Um, Harry. Yeah, Harry. Does it equip you, your, your military experience, equip you to succeed in this, this line of work? Sure, absolutely. And I think not just for me, but for veterans in general. From the very beginning, they're trained to take the initiative, to lead in the absence of orders. So I think veterans as a population um, have that initiative. Stewart and his staff kept their program for veterans under wraps while it was being developed. Now they're hoping to share it with anyone willing to follow their lead. This isn't charity for them. They're more than qualified for this. Uh, there is nothing in here that they can't accomplish. Just ask Justine Cabulong, who remains a captain in the Marine Reserves while focusing full-time 
on the career she's always wanted. Okay. Awesome, guys. Thanks so much. We're going to get started soon. Thank you. Thank you. It completely, you know, gave me my dream job, and I, I can't wait to see what else is in store. Now, except for the first day, the six-week program takes place after hours, so it doesn't interfere with those vets who already have day jobs. That's mm -hmm. another That's reason to love John Stewart. That's such a great yeah. program that he's doing. Yeah. The, the kind of stress they can handle. Yeah. You know, yeah. think she'll end up as a stand-up comedian? I think she's going to end up wherever she wherever wants. Wherever she to wants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. She's you know, great. as many of these companies say, they couldn't hire anybody than a veteran. Exactly. Yeah. All right. That's thank nice. you so much, Jim.